PragerU recently released a video. Uh, now, PragerU, of course, is not a university in the literal sense, uh, but they do put out some pretty good, slick, conservative propaganda. Uh, last week, and, and forgive me for this because it's a little old, but uh, last week they put out a video um, that in, in every way is pro, pro slavery. <laughs> I mean, look, if you don't believe me, then just watch. Who was Robert E. Lee? Statues of great historical figures like Robert E. Lee are being torn down across America. Here are some facts about Lee that remind us why his statue should remain. Robert E. Lee was connected to George Washington through his father, Light Horse Harry Lee, Washington's cavalry commander, and his wife, Martha Washington's great-granddaughter. Lee's home at Arlington House was just 10 miles from Washington's Mount Vernon. Today, it is the site of Arlington National Cemetery. After 30 years of military service, Lee led U.S. Marines to crush the attempted slave rebellion by radical abolitionist John Brown in October 1859. 21 co-conspirators had seized a federal armory, and all of them were killed or captured, including John Brown, who was tried and hanged for treason. Lee deemed slavery a moral and political evil in any country but considered it a greater evil to the white man than to the black race, since blacks are immeasurably better off here than in Africa. Opposing secession, Lee foresaw no greater calamity for the country than a dissolution of the Union. But when Virginia seceded in a close vote, Lee resigned his commission. Despite offers to command Union forces, Lee opted to organize the defense of his native state. After four years as Confederate commander, Lee became an icon of reconciliation upon his surrender. As president of Virginia's Washington College, he favored education for freed slaves but opposed their right to vote. Lee died from a stroke in 1870 and is buried beneath Lee Chapel in what's now Washington and Lee University. His legendary warhorse traveler rests in a plot nearby. Whoa! Okay. Uh, so where, where, I mean, where do you really start? I, I guess I can start with saying that I don't give a shit about, uh, a, a racist horse, uh, a racist horse, not the horses. I don't think the horse is racist, but you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, who cares about the horse? I don't care about the horse. Um, okay. Substantively, let's get to the substance. Okay. Uh, so I, I mean, they're, they're trying to make the argument that generally good because he and the Marines put down a slave rebellion. I, I don't, I don't, I, like, how's that good? How's that good? That, that's bad. Like, sla we shouldn't have slave rebellions, or shouldn't have had slave rebellions, because we shouldn't have slaves. I mean, it's pretty simple. They wanted to be free, and, and so they tried to be free. They tried to win their freedom. <clears throat> so, I, I don't know if that's a good thing. That's really bad. All right, uh, and then, and then, Radical abolitionist John Brown. That, yeah. Okay, yeah. He, you know what? John Brown. Super radical. He's totally tubular. Yes, being an abolitionist is fucking awesome. It's fucking rad. I would hope that everyone would want to be a radical abolitionist. I just, I mean, come on. And so, and not on the side of General Lee. Who again? It was like literally anti-American, and, 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 and I mean, he just helps secede from America. He fought against America. But then you know the video goes into uh, saying things like, "Did you know he was related to George Washington? Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Guess what? George Washington also owned slaves, and sure, he did some good things, but he's also a slave-owning piece of shit, uh, and so." as were a lot of them. And yes, if you own slaves, you're a piece of shit. Uh, and so I don't give a damn that he was related to George Washington. Ooh, how is that an argument in favor of keeping a, a statue of a literal traitor to the United States? Uh, again, he chose his home state, Virginia, over who, who, by the way, voted to secede from the United States uh, in order to keep human beings as property. Understand that that, that point is very important. He chose to back a state 
that chose to keep human beings as property over the United States government. O over the United States, literally. Th that is an act of treason. Did they mention that? No, they didn't talk about that in that context whatsoever. No, they framed this, this, this uh, Lee as a figure who was conflicted about slavery. Oh, he called it an evil. Uh, and so, oh, yeah, well, slavery bad, even though I support slavery. Uh, and I support the country that does slavery. And so all that stuff. I, I mean, in that same letter, by the way, that they quote, uh, where Lee called it a, uh, a, an, e an evil, uh, Lee said that the blacks are immeasurably better off enslaved in America than free, living freely in Africa. That was a quote. You saw that. Wow, that is some white savory bullshit. Okay. Um, I, I mean, here they make the argument that, well, I mean, you know, lifting up the, 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 the African American, the natives of Africa by brutally enslaving, torturing, killing, whipping, uh, all that wonderful stuff. That is just great. Well, yeah, we love that. Here's a real quote. The painful discipline, this is generally, uh, they are undergoing is necessary for their instruction as a race, and I hope will prepare and lead them to do better things. He added that only God knew how long their subjugation may be necessary, and that emancipation would only be brought by, uh, would better be brought by the mild and melting influence of Christianity than the storms and tempests of fiery controversy. Uh, so basically, shut up, accept your lot. It's good for you that you will work for free and profit me while I get to do anything I want to you. Uh, and but don't worry, it's for your own good because you were lesser than people and not actually people. Dude, come on. That is some racist bullshit right there. Totally racist. Um, it, it's, it's the whole argument, oh, we got to tame the savages. We're going to lift them up, though. Don't worry about that. But we're going to lift them up by doing free labor uh, and imposing our religion onto them. Uh, aren't we great? Aren't we wonderful? Aren't we, aren't we the white savior? No, that's not good. That's really bad. Uh, I cannot believe that this video still exists, that they didn't just completely like take this down and go, oh, yeah, no, that was really bad as a racist. We're real sorry about that. But no, no, the thing is, is that like, this, it's straight up pro-slavery propaganda. It's right here. The masks are on the floor. They're in a pile getting set on fire, okay? Which again, that's what a lot of Republicans are doing to masks anyway, so I'm not surprised. But look, here's the thing, Prager U has put out some pretty big doozies, right? But this defense of General Lee is straight out of white supremacist rhetoric. Okay, to make this argument alone that it was better that white European, uh, that, that white Europeans and Americans forcibly took Africans by ship where many of them died, and then sold them at auctions uh, into a lifetime. Yes, a lifetime uh, of slavery. By the way, their children were also born slaves and kept as slaves. That's different than, because I know there's this argument with conservatives, but do you understand? Uh, white people also took other white people as slaves. And so, you know, there was indentured servitude, but generally in those situations, their children and their children's children were not slaves. Uh, and so African chattel slavery by far is the worst examples of this because of how much they dehumanized black people uh, in this and, and denied them any sort of rights and freedoms. And even after they were, they were emancipated, they were still denied rights and freedoms because white supremacists do not believe that they were human beings in the first place. I mean, Jesus. And, and it, it's just... And they still try to make this ridiculous argument that, no, 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 the, the, by the way, doing all that stuff is still better than leaving them in Africa. Really? Oh, I would disagree. I would definitely disagree with that. I mean, what else can you say about it, okay? Prager U, this video, look, Prager U should win the award for most racist video of all time. Maybe not all time, but of 2020 at least, because there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of racist videos. Um, it's just this one, this year, and it takes the cake. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf.
or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.